welcome to my YouTube channel. So you join me on a cold December morning, but it's a perfect kind of weather for this video because what I'm going to be doing then for the next 24 hours, maybe more, we'll see, <laughs> is just eating from the festive menu at well, they're all takeaways at the moment, aren't they? Um, but the likes of like your um, high street chains, Costa, Greg's, Starbucks. Um, so, first up then is my local Costa. Um, I don't generally get a lot from here. Occasionally a coffee, or if I'm just meeting a friend or something, maybe, you know, a sandwich or a cake. Um, but it's not that I don't like them, I do. I probably like them too much but because I live nearby um, it's cheaper to go home isn't it let's face it um, but as it's Christmas got to have a little treat haven't we so yeah first stop Costa so absolutely dead in there um, they do get busy at lunch times they um, they get a queue because obviously you can only let so many in and uh, say so it's takeaway so what I went for it's kind of difficult to know what to have for breakfast, isn't it? I'm not normally a breakfast person. Um, I have very little, generally. Um, so I've gone for a latte, gingerbread latte, which is obviously seasonal. I've got my little gingerbread man on top there. For the main, main? Do you have a main at breakfast? I suppose you, can, you do, really, don't you? It's a um, brie and bacon panini which smells lovely I have to say they heat it up while you're there don't they and since the day these came out i've been hankering for one of these and they sold out sort of pretty quickly when they first came in it's the after eight muffin um but i'm not going to have that now i'm going to save that for like um my elevenses shall we say i suppose some days i'm not even up at, well I, I am generally up at 11 <laughs> um but i'm a bit of a night owl so quite often i'll be working into the night and then get up late. Um, doesn't matter, as long as it get me work done. Doesn't matter what time I want, does it? Um, that's the way I look at it. You know, sometimes people are saying, oh, you're lazy, you stop in bed, or words to that effect. But actually, no, I'm not, because I stop up late. You know, I'm only getting the same amount of hours as you are, or your average person. I'm just getting them on a different clock, on the tenure clock. Mmm, that's so good. I mean, it's weird, doesn't it? I'm not the biggest gingerbread fan as a biscuit, but in a coffee, like a latte, it's really nice. Just taking my brace out to eat it. I would imagine the people in the cars around me just probably think I've taken my false teeth out or something. Not that I've got false teeth. So here we are then. Oh, it's hot. It's so hot. They probably think I'm presenting a panini to them. But, as you can see, Is it going to focus? Can you see the steam coming off it? Probably better to show you that side because... There, that's better look. Mmm. Mmm, mmm. Let's try this then. First bite was a bit chewy, but I suppose the end always is, isn't it? That's just... Uh... That is nice. Sweet but savoury at the same time, you know? I will definitely have it again. I'm not fussed about the cranberry on it, but I know a lot of people like that and they have it on their Christmas dinner, don't they? But I'm not. To say I like sweet things, I don't like it on my dinner. Do you know what I mean? A dinner is savoury. Unless it's pineapple on pizza, and yes, I am one of those people that will put pineapple on pizza. I can imagine now, looking at average view duration of this video, um, numbers dropping off after <laughs> I say I put pineapple on pizza it's weird isn't it how food I mean, it's not weird because it, it but it's interesting that's probably the word I'm looking for how food can make you feel a certain way like food can make you feel festive you know I feel now I've had that and I've got this drink I feel all Christmassy again I'm going to head home, get a bit of work done, and then uh, a little bit later on I'm going to head into town 
and decide where I'm going to go for lunch. So, decisions. Catch you later, kids. So, back home. I'm doing a bit of tidying, um, sort of do emails, but now is the time. I mean, I love chocolate muffins anyway. So I wonder, well, I know in a minute, but I was going to say, I wonder if the actual muffin is like mint chocolate or whether it's just because it's got a after eight stuck on the top. Mm. I'd say there's a hint of mint, just a little bit, not overpowering. If I didn't know, I mean, I wouldn't say, oh, it's a mint muffin. Ooh, but in the middle, yeah. In the middle, it's very minty. You know, you sometimes get like the chocolate in the middle. Mmm, that is so good. Yeah, definitely have that again. So I'm now in uh, the centre of Nottingham and I'm going to go to Starbucks for my lunch. Um, there's a couple of Starbucks, obviously both just for takeaway at the moment because we're still um, in tier three. But I know their hot chocolate is nice, so I know I'm going to have that. And then it will just depend on what else they've got in um, and what's left really, because I suppose everybody's going to be going for the same thing at the moment. Um, but yeah, we'll see how we get on. down to eat it the only place is kind of almost on a little ledge but something tells me I'm gonna need the toilet after I've been here for a while but I've got the um, truffle hot chocolate regular it's lovely and I also got the sandwich that people are talking about which is the one kind of named after friends isn't it the one with the gravy filling so obviously they heat it up. I haven't got the wrapper to tell you actually ooh, what's in it. I've just put my finger in it, I know that. So it's in three layers like that. That's why I put my finger in it. So let's give it a go. I'm not really tasting much of anything. I think it's got turkey, pulled pork, something red. And obviously the gravy, which I can't really taste at the minute, but not the best flavoured sandwich I've ever had. Probably wouldn't order that again. So yeah, that was everything that was bad about Christmas dinner, really. I needed more seasoning, but I suppose you can't please everybody. Now I am, um, I got the, a little bit squashed, cranberry and lemon cheesecake muffin. So it's got like the cheesecake in the middle. Um, I normally quite like muffins, so let's give it a go. Mm, that is delicious, actually. They have redeemed themselves with that. <sighs> so, back in the car. I'm actually gonna head home before I have the Greggs. Might need to warm it up a bit. Um, had a sip of the coffee, which was nice. Out of breath. I haven't got the energy I used to have. Do you remember when you was a kid? Well, not a kid, teenager. I could walk round and round town in heels. Now, ready for a good sit down and a cup of tea. Well, wow, coffee. So, made it back home. Um, I had to leave the car park because obviously I had paid, so I couldn't really sit there and uh, eat my Greggs. But I did drink the coffee on the way back. Um, so that was the salted caramel latte, which was nice, actually. Um, put off having one of their hot chocolates because when I had one the other week, 
it was just it was like so sugary but the coffee was nice wasn't sort of over over caramelly if you know what i mean um it was just kind of a hint of if you're after something that was really with a hit of flavour then it probably wasn't the right thing for you but but yeah just a little bit sweeter than a normal latte so i have got home and i've got i've actually got a plate look get me i've put my christmas bake onto a plate not had one of these before so this is the moment of truth because i normally have if i have a greg's it's a cheese and onion pasty that is my go-to, my favourite. Okay. I did pop this in the microwave for a few seconds because it had gone a bit cool. I think it's meant to be turkey, stuffing, sage and onion, and cranberry. I'm going to check that. Oh, chicken, chicken breast, sage onion stuffing, sweet cured bacon and a creamy sage and cranberry sauce. The dog is here begging. It's obviously got his seal of approval. Good boy. It kind of just reminds me of like a chicken and mushroom pie, but I don't, there's no mushroom in it. But yeah, there's kind of a sweet... A sweetness about it almost definitely got more flavor than the starbucks sandwich i'll give it that it tastes the sage the cranberry is kind of a very mild um yeah very mild flavor i can see the little bits of bacon actually they are tiny little bits but it's actually nice i wouldn't say it's overly festive I would definitely have that again, actually. Nice. Yeah. He says so. Um, now, I've kind of got that. What I've been doing is getting a drink, like a main, and a snack. And I've kind of got that for tea. And then afterwards, I thought I should have got some of their, like, hot wedges. But, having said that, I wouldn't normally have three snacks a day, so it kind of equals out. And I'm not going to be hungry having had, well, everything I've had. Today has not been great for the diet, has it? Let's face it. Um, so snack-wise, then, I went for the, is that going to focus? The chocolate Christmas tree. I think it said shortbread. Mm. That's not shortbread. It's more like ginger. You cannot have this now. You're not allowed human chocolate. I'm going to check what this is because I think it's more of a gingerbread. Lime you're fond of your teeth be careful it's going to have been pretty heavy on the calories today regardless isn't it christmas tree biscuit yeah ginger biscuit covered with chocolate coating decorated with sugar sprinkles and a sugar paste star 174 calories i shouldn't have looked at the calories um jesus i don't eat it with my front teeth should have gone for a Christmas shortbread or something else but it's kind of one of those because the queue the way it was you couldn't actually see the counter till you got to it so you literally walked up to it and they were like um what can I get you and you kind of felt like the big queue behind you I haven't really got a chance to look properly so I knew I wanted the festive bait but I wasn't sure on the snack so I went more on appearances than um what it was that will teach me so oh i'm covered in i don't know what do they still call them hundreds and thousands I'm covered them in a many way 
um but yeah that that was good well the past i will say pasta bake was nice that was lovely um not so much the biscuits still prefer starbucks muffin so i'm gonna lay down now in a sugar fat induced coma and just sleep it all off if only it that easily actually i don't know how many miles would i need to run to not that i go running but you know what i mean to to work that off i can't believe i got a ginger biscuit I've actually got home with the sandwich. It looks, I put it on the plate, but look. It looks nice. Um, so let's have a go. Pigs in blankets. I've definitely had worse breakfast. Yeah, so it's not badly filled, and you can see the bacon there um a bit of sweetness obviously as well with the um cranberry yeah not bad not the best pigs in blankets offering i think i've ever had but it's not bad for a breakfast is it another day another mince pie i'm still full from breakfast to be honest so this is actually lunch time so I don't think I'm going to manage a lunch, maybe by tea, I'll be ready for something. Um, but yeah, I just feel like my body is craving a salad or something. So, here goes. No more mince pies. No. So, the last one has arrived. Um, I ordered the Pizza Hut Christmas dinner pizza. I think I'll manage. And then, yeah, I've done the two days. It actually smells really nice. See what it's like. Weirdly, it does taste like Christmas dinner, but with cheese. That makes sense. Hmm. Yeah, this is good. Hopefully, you have enjoyed this video and not felt too repulsed watching me. Let me know if you've tried any of the menu. Obviously, I couldn't try everything on the menus. Well, I could, but <laughs> not in one go. Um, but let me know what your favourites are, because I love a festive menu, me. Give this video a thumbs up. I would love it if you would subscribe to my channel, and I will see you in the next video. Oh, hit the notification bell as well, otherwise you might miss the next upload, and you wouldn't want to do that, would you? Which will probably be my guide to weight loss. <laughs> Step one, don't eat festive menus. Um, anyway, take care. Bye. <laughs>